All right, real quick. Um, I, I think this is great. I'm 42 years old. I grew up on the east side. And this is, this is great because I grew up like, listen, as long as you ain't messing with me, as long as you call when I need you, I don't, I didn't need a relationship with a cop. I didn't need to know your name. I'm 42 years old. The only cop I knew was John Cabal. I didn't know who called Providence Police Station. So, it, and I lived perfectly fine. Nobody messed with me. Like I said, as long as you're there when I call you, that's all I really need you for. But the second part of this is this. Um, I work for the Nonviolence Institute. I commend all of you guys, gentlemen, everybody put this together. And I recently was at a training. And what I observed at the training was something that I think really needs to be addressed here, is the mentality. When I asked all the officers, uh, and this was about 67 new recruits, uh, about seven of them were from Providence. The rest were from other parts of the city. And I said, why do you guys all want to come work for Providence? And then all their question was, because that's where all the action is. I can't, you know, if I go get up in my car from North Smith, all I'm doing is sitting in my car, I ain't doing nothing. If I'm in Lincoln, I'm not doing nothing. Um, I wanted to come to work for Providence because, you know, if you say you're from Providence, you get all the respect. And to me, that's the mentality of, you know, I can't wait to get out there, man, and just arrest somebody and, you know, shoot somebody. I mean, and I know that's not the case. But I think that mentality comes into play when we're recruiting officers for the job, working in the city that they're not from. But for them to say, like, all the actions and problems, man, I can't wait to get in time, man. Like, almost like going on a safari. I can't wait to gun people down, you know? So I think addressing the mentality of officers at the beginning, and how do we improve that? How do we improve that? How do we make officers from problems become officers? Because one of three black men are on parole and probation. And how, so how can they become officers? And another thing, and the last point is, we can't forget this. Growing up, especially as an African American man, when you say, well, we need more black officers, how do you become something that you talk to hate? <laughs> Growing up, you're an officer of that person. I see it for this. I see it for that. Why would I want to become an officer? As much as we say, well, become the thing that you want, with one of three black people, uh, black men, I'm on probation and parole. And I don't think that's by accident. So, thank you.